what's up babes it's curly so victoria i want to just go ahead i'm shooting multiple videos right now um but i wanted to go ahead and shoot this video so we could talk about my hair because i told you guys the hair video never uploaded so yesterday august 1st um 2021 my hair hit two years and one uh month so my hair i was actually in the video showing you guys that i was um basically oiling my hair and I was taking down my two strand twist. Now I can't turn around in this video because I'm sitting in the car and I'm not gonna put the camera behind my head, but you guys can kind of see what we're working with for two years and a month. Um, so this is where we're at. I have finally, you know, um, over the this last year, I'm over the budding stages. I don't have any more really curly ends or anything like that. Everything is pretty much budded. Um, if it is curly, it might be because I like ripped out a piece of lint or something from the bottom and it took away that like that bud or something. But otherwise, I don't have um, I don't have any. Um, what do you call it? I'm basically past budding. I've been past budding a long time ago, but I'm saying I'm past curly ends. I'm just giving you guys an update, too, on year two. Like this is not just like a. This is a general update. So I'm past budding. Occasionally I get lit in my hair. In the other video, because I'm going to have to try to do like a, a fast version of what I basically talked about in that video because I was oiling my scalp a little bit. But I was talking about the importance of what you put in your body and what you drink. Food, water, health, whatever. Whatever you're putting in your body does have um, the ability to affect how your hair is going to look. It has the ability to affect all of that so if you're putting junk in your body chances are your hair is not going to properly grow those follicles are going to be you know or if you're clogging your hair with a whole bunch of bad like build up products or just like not good products then your pores in your head could be your hair could be clogged and it could be causing your hair not to efficiently grow i was also talking about the importance of also making sure that your hair is for me, I don't always tie my hair up at night. And I know they're like, well, everybody like woman ties their hair up at night. I'm pretty sure that's what most people are thinking. But here's why I don't tie my hair up every night. I do, when I do tie my hair up, I tie my hair with a satin um, scarf. When I don't tie my hair up, it's because I'm sleeping on a satin pillowcase. So if you're somebody who some days you just want your hair to be like completely free when you go to sleep, I would say get a satin pillowcase. I would say get a satin pillowcase even if you tie your hair up because it helps for me and I'm sure others retain their moisture. When I'm sleeping on cotton or polyester or any of those other types of materials, it's easy to absorb your products from your hair or to dry your hair out. So if you some days want to sleep in your scarf because maybe you got a style or maybe you just want your hair to be a certain way by the morning, cool. But if you don't want to sleep in a scarf some nights, satin pillowcase it. Um, also, like I said in the other video, hydrate your hair, water, 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 put it in your body, put it on your hair. If you live in a climate, especially now with summer, it just about everywhere you go with summer right now, this is the best time to be able to rinse your hair and walk out freely without fear and getting sick because it's not cold. In the colder months, you're not going to be able to do that because you walk out with wet hair, you could get pneumonia, you could get, you know, sick, a cold. So at this point, the best thing to do is hydrate your hair. Even if you want to spritz it with just a little bit of water for a little bit of moisture, great. If you want to get in the shower and do a full rinse, great. I hydrate my hair because I feel like I notice you feel the difference when your hair feels hydrated versus when it doesn't. For me, water is super hydrating. The only time I use like a product in my hair is when I retwist my hair with the Murray, um, the Murray's Lock Gel. And really it's water-based, so it's not as heavy as other gels. And I've been using that gel. I used that gel when I first had my first set of locks. I told you guys about a long time ago. I don't know why I feel like I'm talking so, so loud. But when I had my first set of locks, um, I used to use the Murray's gel. And I have the first set of locks back in 2012 and I combed them out around 2014, 15, cause I kept them for about two and a half, three years. 
and I used that for my retwist cream and then the oils and all that stuff. Back then, that's when Jamaican uh, mango lime was like hitting it for your girl at times. Um, but I also used Murray. And Murray's um, formula basically is more water-based. So like I said, I felt like when I was twisting my hair and stuff like that, I was actually putting more water into my hair than I was um, actually putting um, anything else. A police officer just drove past. I wonder if he's going to come back here to figure out what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much that. Um, another thing that I went ahead and did was, oh yeah, I used Murray, Murray and I still use that, but eventually I'm not going to be using it. I'm probably going to use my own product. I want to have my own product line of oils and all that type of stuff so eventually maybe i will use my own products um another thing is i what else i'm gonna be setting myself up soon to just like you know really work on a lot of my brand stuff so that's what my next goals are but my hair, like, that's what I would use. And then now I just use, like, natural oils and stuff or I'll use Wild Grow. Like, I don't use too many tainted things. When I lay my edges, though, I ain't gonna lie. Your girl do be using Wild, uh, not Wild Grow, uh, um, got to be glue the black gel. Like, the black bottle, the clear gel. Yeah, I be using that, too, because I really love that black, got to be glue. I used to use it on my loose natural hair mixed in with like some um, extreme wet line or something, they didn't really cause residue. So that's why I, I really kind of liked it. Um, they don't flake up too much for me. Um, and they can hold my hair down for a good amount of time before I'm actually ready to change style. So I do like that. It holds down them edges. It holds down that ponytail. Another thing, um, y'all look at this hair. Another thing that I would say um like i said low manipulation low manipulation i put my hair in about three different styles in a week okay it's either down it's either half up half down to protect like my face when i'm trying to make sure that i'm not breaking out like severely or if i am breaking out i'm just trying to keep my hair off of my face um or like i'll wear it in a bun top knot something right but i'll take those ponytail holders off before i'm going to sleep unless i have a style that i need to keep for the next day um and then also when you oil your hair, just make sure you focus on your your points that you always put stuff. So if you always put a low ponytail or something, then go ahead and put you some oil in those spots. In the spots that are more prone to breakage, those are the spots that I make sure I take care of really well. The crown of my head, my whole parameter from my edges to my nape. Like I just focus on the ponytail areas, like all of those types of areas, which ultimately you're focusing on your whole head but really give that extra care to those places that you know you put a lot of tension on um what else would i say i've just been enjoying this journey like my first journey was more anxious you know like waiting for the growth and oh i can't wait till it gets here get here more of impatience i'm locks will teach you patience if you don't have it and locks will make you um if you are patient then you understand but both ways on this journey i feel like i've been more open to the growth of my locks like i think because i understand it more of a journey at first it was just like a venture for me when i had my first set of locks the second one this is a journey to me so things that i'm experiencing in my life um and just what i'm going through is all a part of this hair journey and i love it um I feel like locks carry energy. So I tell you all the time, people always say, oh, you should have kept your first set of locks. You'd be nine years old on your hair right now. While that's true, I just feel like I'm grateful that I didn't keep them because at least I had, a, I was able to start over with new energy and vibes. You know what I mean? Um, on this journey, like more, you know, a different, it's just a whole different journey of exploration for me. So because of that, I think that I've been embracing the different stages I'm going through. Like, obviously I'm a talk my ish and always be like, ooh, my hair growing, or ooh, hype myself up. Like, I be telling people, ooh, when my hair get down my back, and they like, okay, when it gets down your back, what? I was like, oh, I ain't gonna know how to act. <laughs> like, people be like, I be like, just wait till my hair grow down my back. And they like, but why are you saying that to me? I'm just saying it, that's all. But no, I'm appreciating this journey um, a lot. Like I told you guys also in other videos, like be careful with color. 
um i know they have like the hair wax paint um if you want to color your hair but be really careful with color because you don't want to be breaking your hair off trying to color your hair every other week bleach your hair every other year like i'm not saying color don't hold up because color i know how to maintain color in my hair but just be careful because because i know that on this journey my first journey i didn't know when my, the end of the road would be for me with locks this journey, I feel like I'm at least gonna go five years, at least, like I'm on two years now, I'm at least gonna go five years. So I wanna make sure that even if I do decide to blonde my hair, cause you know, I've had my thoughts to go back blonde. Even if I do, is just really take care of your hair. Like for me this time around, it's like I've always known with any type of hair, when I keep my hair in its more natural state or if I don't use bleach and I just use like a dye, I've always known like, okay, well at least, you know, if I don't use bleach or something like that, I could use like a dye and that dye would um, not be as harsh as bleach. But if I keep my hair my regular color or I just put a box uh, black dye that like works for my hair, then it could work out. You know what I mean? So that's literally like uh, kind of where where things are. So i am going to i'm sitting here so loosely like my gaslight didn't come on i hope i'm not driving to the gas station putting i have a lot going on y'all but literally i told myself because you, you got people calling from every direction hey this is due hey you gotta do this you gotta do this i'm exhausted so i decided that like, unless you come and knocking on my door to tell me that it has to be done, I have to do it at my own pace because I'm going to be stressed, okay? So, I've started checking some stuff off my list. I know this is completely random, but I started checking stuff off my list today. But anyway, let me get back to the hair because that's what we talk about. So, just, yeah, I'm just going to be taking care of my hair, maintaining my hair. Once we hit January, um, I'm literally going to be like two and a half years. And then once we hit July of 2022, I'll be three years so i'm excited to see where i go from there if my hair is where it is now which i said i'm not going to turn around but my hair is you know it's a good length um then i can only imagine you know where it's gonna be in three years i know i know my hair is gonna be like a lot longer because you got to realize when i was a loose natural i used to cut my hair every three months i would go to the dominicans too you know when you go to the dominican hair salons baby they don't trim they cut so i used to do that like every three months every six months and you can imagine i was cutting off a lot of length even though i wanted to you know just always keep it healthy and keep it you know regular but I still cut off length because I don't have that many split ends in a given three months or whatever. But I would always just be wanting it to look fresh and clean and I was cutting off so much length and I was always doing it. So I was always cutting it off. Lock journey, I don't really cut my hair. I don't, I haven't cut my hair at all since I, you know, started them. Um, before I got, I actually twisted them. I did, had just cut my hair. But I'm saying I haven't cut my hair while being on this journey. The only time I see myself actually cutting my hair again with locks is when it gets absolutely too long beyond my point of where I want my hair to be. Um, or if I feel like it's growing out and I want to cut a little bit more layer in my hair. So, yeah. Otherwise, I'm not going to be cutting it. And girl, you see what we looking like. You see what the vibes are. You see what the vibes are. And that's one. And that's one. So, I will see you guys, you lovely, beautiful people, in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.